It is crappy outside. I am not walking home. Uh, let me text the wife. So usually I walk home from work because we live pretty close, but uh, definitely not today. It's crappy outside. So I'm gonna have the wife pick me up. Usually I either walk home or I longboard or I ride my bike, but today's not looking like one of those days. So I'll explain in a second. <laughs> So usually I'll either Uber home, take a lift home, or uh, a longboard, or, or I'll ride my bike. Sometimes I'll even walk, you know, it all depends on the day. But it's definitely kind of crappy outside. It's been raining the last couple of days, so I'm probably not gonna do that. And I don't feel like getting another Uber or Lyft. So the wife said that she's in the area, so she's gonna go pick me up, which is fantastic. We are actually a one car family it's not necessarily because like we can't afford another car we just prefer to have only one car we had two cars and then we sold one of them my phone's ringing answer that later we just try to be simple and try not to have so many things but there is a little bit of a story behind it I'll explain okay so the first reason obvious reasons number one it's just cheaper to only have one car so rather than having two car payments two insurances we just decided we didn't want that so we didn't get a second car we kind of wanted to direct our finances in other places we wanted to take care of some debt that was a big thing like we're, we're like this close away from being completely debt free very close we worked really hard uh, that's another topic we'll do another vlog about that but there's more let me explain There she is. Hey, boo. Hi, babe. Hey. That's the wife. All right, so I'm trying to explain why we only have one car. Because we wanted to spend time together. And... Yes, I didn't get to that part. <laughs> okay. yeah. I'll tell you my side of the story. Okay. okay, so this is what happened. We go to get rid of my car. I had my dream car. I had the Scion XB. I had the car and I had it paid off, it paid off. Done, D-U-N, done, it was paid off. So then we're like, you know what? Let's only have one car. We wanted to spend more time together. We'll get into those details later. So we're at CarMax and we wanted to sell her car, but it didn't work that way. It was more difficult, more complicated to sell her car. So then we ended up having to sell my car. That's what happened. Some parts was correct, babe. We had every intention of selling my car, because obviously there was payments on it, but he had no AC on it. He had dink scratches all over the place. The Dinks? Inside of, it's not even a word. It's a word tonight. And inside was a mess because he's a DJ and so everything was in and out of that car. So we made an executive decision together as a married couple, so it's not all my fault. That was the best decision, to sell his car, get that money, and put it towards this car. I was lied to. That's what happened. That was I was not lied what to. Happened. We were supposed to get rid of her car, and we got rid of my car. And you she... know how Jesus says, you know, to forgive. Sin. That's not the point. And it you're also not said... supposed to bring it back up. That's not the point. Oh, time, so you admit it? Every time. So you admit it? No, you, no. You lied to Listen. me. Listen. Okay, so here's the reasons why we wanted to only have one car. Okay, reason number one is we just wanted to spend more time together. Now, she drives me to work in the morning and she picks me up. Not all the time, depending on the schedule, but usually she does. Not many couples, married couples, people that are close to each other, not many people get to do that on a daily basis. Usually people, they have two separate jobs, two separate cars, and then they drive to separate distances and then they come back and they meet at home and then they're tired. But this one and I get to spend time together in the car on the ride to work and the ride home. Reason number two. Two. Is financial reasons. 
We wanted to spend more of our money on things that matter to us rather than material things. And then we can spend and save that money or we could save that money and then we can spend it on things that we really enjoy and like, like traveling. Experiences. Or experiences together. <laughs> you know, and that's what's really important to us. Reason number three is convenience. We made the decision that we were gonna live close to work. Now at the time when we made this decision, she wasn't working where she is now, she was working somewhere else and she left that position to move down to Fort Lauderdale because she loves me. And we decided that we were gonna live really close to where I work Therefore, we wouldn't need the second car. It would just be, it would get dark while, oh, we're on, thought it was like a, like a hell storm. <laughs> Not a hail storm, a hell storm. Number four, whether she agrees with it or not, we love car rides. They're just so much fun. Like in the mornings, we get to sing together, we get to talk, we get to talk about deep things, funny things, we get to laugh with each other, we get to listen to the podcast together, we get to listen to audiobooks together, all these things, we get to do all those things together. Because together. it's always better together. One car family, Brrr, fam. Fortune and Grisel Byrne. All day son. I don't know. <laughs> Brendan Alden Byrne. And we got another one coming. Baby burn! So when that one comes, oh yeah, Momo at home. So when that happens, maybe we'll get another car? I don't know. Let's just take it one day at a time. I want a minivan. No, I want an SUV. <laughs> Baby, you hungry? Yes. What do you want to eat? La Plata. I'm not sure if that's how it's pronounced, but I'm down. And mission accomplished. We got the food, but it's family time. And family time means no cameras. See you next time.